and you guys probably can't even hear it. Anyway, this is Adrian Obi, Capricorn Tigris with Astrology, a look inside. I'm coming to you with full moon readings for the 12 zodiac signs. And I'm gonna st start uh, here with the sign of Aries, Aries. And I'm just going to concentrate solely on that one area because this is just gonna be quick, a quick insight or if I get a, you know, just a vibe, a, a message, a sense, some form of intuition, anything from what's occurring, okay? So at this point, as I've mentioned uh, earlier, the full moon is going to be occurring at 20 degrees of Cancer. It occurs on the 10th of January. It will be happening in the fourth house for the sign of Aries. This will affect most likely, don't know for sure, because each person who is Aries may have a completely different setup. So you may not have cancer in your fourth house, in your actual natal chart. It may be happening somewhere else. But overall, from the natural house of Aries, it's occurring in the fourth house for most, if you know, for all cancers, will get a flavoring, I think, of this fourth house essence. And the full moon in cancer in the fourth house is home. It will be most likely emotional, maybe emotional in a good way maybe emotional in a bad way, but it will be emotional, most likely. I think it's best to plan on the emotionality of it all instead of pretending that, oh no, it's not gonna happen because it could, and it could come out of nowhere because it's a full moon and it's a full, well, it's a lunar eclipse anyway. And as I mentioned, uh, Uranus is going direct. Now, I can see uh, because of where Uranus is, not that it makes any aspect at all, but with Uranus going direct in your second house, I can see how that could affect you emotionally, especially when we're dealing with the home life or family life. Perhaps it could be something as simple as, you know, the kids ran up the cell phone bill and now you've got this huge bill or something crazy where something in your uh, affects perhaps what you have of value because we're dealing with the second house. And then um, of course the emotions happening at home. So it, it could happen in your family, um, among your children or among your, your own family in some way. It could be something just in your home. You might even just be crying at home. It just be aware that this is kind of the flavor of the moment for you guys. And Let's not forget that Saturn and Pluto are going to be opposing that full moon. So I just wanted to give this quick insight about the full moon on the 10. I would, um, I mean, I think if you played your cards right, Aries, you could make it a very beautiful time for family. I mean, it's, it's the fourth house, it's the family house. So, you know, hopefully you'll be able to do that. All right. Well, much love and much light to you, Aries. May you have a beautiful rest of January. <clears throat> and I may come back uh, during the new moon time, which is the 24th of January. Okay. Okay. Much love and light to you. Oh. And to get a full reading and to learn more, you can visit me at astrologyalookinside.com. That's astrologyalookinside.com. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and to, you know, to the video. Okay. It's love and light.